Hello there and welcome to the clinic. So today we're going to be looking at your ocular prescription so you can um, get a better understanding of what all those numbers mean on that little slip of paper you're given at the end of your eye examination. So um, just looking at some of the columns you'll see on your prescription you have your uh, spherical uh, lens prescription here, your cylindrical reading, the axis that the cylinder sits at, um, if any prism has been prescribed um, to help your two eyes work better together that will be included here. If you are presbyopic, if you are of a certain age and you are struggling to read, um, you may have been prescribed a reading ad. You may even be prescribed an intermediate ad for your arm's length work, such as working on the computer. And this is where, if required, the prism of your uh, near comes into play. Again, if you have any problems with the two eyes working together at near, you may require some prism. Okay, so you have your right eye readings, this row here, and your left eye. Now on some prescriptions, you may see the right eye written as OD, left eye written as OS. These are just uh, Latin abbreviations for right and left. Um, sphere, units, diopter sphere, cylinder for your astigmatism if there's any present, diopter cylinder, axis in degrees, um, prism, add, diopter sphere and so on. So let's take an imaginary prescription and have a little look at things. So let's say in the right you are a plus two sphere minus one cylinder at an axis of 100 degrees. Just ignore this part for now and in the left eye let's change it up you are a minus one sphere and you have a cylinder minus O50 that sits at an axis of 80 degrees there so that is your um, prescription so um, we're going to take the right eye first now just focusing on the spherical column here if you see a plus symbol before the number here, that means you are long-sighted or hyperopic. Conversely, if you see a minus symbol before your sphere, opposite, you are short-sighted you are myopic and if there are any numbers present in the uh, cylindrical column there that means you have some as well as long or short sighted if there's uh, numerical values, values there you are or you have You have astigmatism, you have rugby ball shaped eyes, which is a term commonly used by um, optometric professionals to just describe astigmatism. This is rugby ball shaped eyes. The astigmatism could be coming from the uh, cornea of the eye there, or it could be. Uh, 
from the crystalline lens there, lens, cornea, or it could be a combination of the um, two combined there, generating the astigmatism. Because one meridian is um, steeper than the other, we have to note the axis that the cylinder sits at. Um, so that is your prescription. Um, those are the lenses that should give you best vision um, for your everyday needs. So when we're thinking about long-sighted hyperopic, if I can just try and draw an eye here, cross-sectional view there, the light coming in. When you are hyperopic, uh, the light is focusing behind the retina at an imaginary point there. So we will place a, a positive lens in front, a, a convex lens, and the light then, hopefully, if this lens is correct, should focus on the retina. And again, the opposite here, there is your eye. If you are short-sighted, the light is focusing somewhere in front of the retina there. That is your light source coming in. The light is focusing here. You shall require a concave lens to cause the light to diverge and focus on the retina, thus giving you the best vision possible. Um, if you are presbyopic, so you're wearing your general prescription, but you are also having problems focusing on your reading vision. You may be prescribed a reading ad. The ad required um, usually gradually increases with age. So that should focus your near vision and you may have been prescribed an intermediate ad for those tasks you perform at an intermediate distance to just the VDU so the optometrist should measure your working distance and calculate and demonstrate what lenses are going to best focus your intermediate there. Um, the um, symbol is always plus with your add and intermediate adds there. Now if you wanted to work out your reading prescription, just your reading prescription, take the plus one add to the two. So you're reading in this case for near. We're talking about your reading, not intermediate. One, two would be plus three. Keep the cylinder there. Axis remains the same. So that is how you calculate your near. Um, for the left eye, near vision prescription, plus one. Add it to the minus one spherical element that becomes plana zero. The cylinder remains the same, and that is your near vision, near vision prescription based on these values here. Lovely. So that, in a nutshell, is your prescription. Um, now, something else you may see on your prescription, abbreviated to B, V, D. This is your back. Vertex. Distance. 
could be somewhere um, in the range of um, say six millimeters to um, 15 for example always in millimeters um, this reading is basically the distance that the lens in the trial frame sits from your eye there so you should be able to measure that distance that is your back vertex distance the distance between the front of the cornea and the back of the lens in the trial frame that you are using um, back vertex distance is important to note in your higher prescriptions anything beyond uh, four to five um, diopters and that's also useful if we're looking to fit the patient with contact lenses because the contact lens sits on the surface of the cornea there it literally makes contact so the prescription required for your contact lenses may be different depending on the strength to your general glasses prescription so i hope that has helped to demystify a few things about the prescription that you are given after your eye examination obviously prescriptions can change over time depending on the age and some of the work you do so reading additions tend to go up with age so that's why it's important to follow your optometrist's recommendations uh, regarding when your next eye examination is due and um, just going back to the uh, prism element uh, the prism is basically um, something that bends the light um, which may be incorporated if you are showing um, that your two eyes are not working well together as a team um, the prism may help relieve your um, diplopia for example or double vision or if you have a phoria and that's causing you some uh, problems whether that's distance or near the prism um, can help to relax the eyes keep everything binocular single and comfortable and when we record prism we should measure it in the um, vertical and horizontal meridians and we will put say the um, value of the prism, prism measured so have one and it's important to say whether the prism is base out base in up or down depending on the readings taken and the tests before so let's just say this is base out and base out so overall combined you would have two diopters out combined for your glasses prescription there okay so that is everything today if you have any further questions about um, your eye prescription or there's something I didn't cover just let me know in the description and I will try my best to answer your questions so I'll see you next time in the clinic bye for now